Hey, everybody. Hi, Logan. Yeah, oh, yes, he's a good boy. There's Logan. Whoop. Not too far. There we go. Hi, Deb. And um, Wingate, you are correct on that. Um, the Harl it was is Pixie, and uh, the Mantle is Grumman. Correct. Hi, Lee. I don't know if you're uh, still on right now, but it says 11 minutes ago you were. Any questions today? Where are the authors today? Uh, they are out in Nuthouse. Yep, so I, they are uh, out, out there. I didn't hear them uh, making any noise today, so they must be fairly happy out there, so. Um, little Sizzle made a trip down to the barn today, and it turns out she's not so little, because she stood next to her brother. Um, she was next to Ned. And I knew she was heavier than all three brothers. Um, she, the last, when they were weighed, she was 56 pounds. They were all 50. Um, and so I knew that she was heavier. But she was standing next to Ned, and she was definitely taller than Ned. She was, she's taller than him. Uh, I don't know about the other two, but um, yeah, she's definitely taller than Ned. <clears throat> so... Pretty girl. Uh, nope, there wasn't a mess. I hope it was a donkey that was in there and not anything else. Um, did so. Um, yeah, no, there was no mess. I didn't see anything, and I was the first one in the barn. Did somebody come down and let her back in? Because she wasn't out. And the, I don't think the doors were open, so. Um, unless. Um, I don't know, what did, uh, did Janine come late and return Lincoln or, or ride Lincoln and bring him back to the barn late? Maybe that's what you saw, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. doing but and I had Lo uh, Logan down the barn all day today I don't know if you um, were able to see that he was um we just wanted to get him some exercise he's a little uh, little chunk and um, just to run off his energy because he's just so instead of barking you know he and he didn't run a lot but he didn't lounge around on a futon either so um, yeah so from about 9 30 until about 12, 30, 1 o'clock, I had him either in the arena or on flat field uh, with another dog. Um, it was um, Cadet I had him with first, and then Washer, and then Gretchen he was out with. Um, yeah, so I had him. He was running a little bit. He wasn't doing a lot of running, but um, he was doing a little. Steve said he saw him running. So... And um, as far as the ride, I mean, of course, you know, she's, I think she's looking for her. She's kind of, but she's, I don't think she's, um, I don't think she's, uh, you know, she's not despondent yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she, as long as she's in the house, um, she's all right. 
Um, I think if we were, I mean, if we were to put her in a kennel, she'd be miserable. I don't think she's been in a kennel for, I can't even tell you how long. <laughs> um, yeah, so he, he did really well. Um, so I think that's probably what going to be the plan. Hey, get out of there, right? Oh, you can't hear me. Get, get. Bag that in there. There's food in it, but <laughs> it might be dog cookies. In yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But Araya gets plenty of love anyway, so yeah. So she's not missing in that front. But but of course Grace is number one. Has Sizzle been weighed since the 56 pound recording? How often are the dogs weighed? Uh, too much yuppie puppy, she's living the good life. Uh, too much yuppie puppy and too much futon, and she's taller than her brothers. So um, my dog was like that too. She was bigger than her brother um, when she was growing. I don't know what her brother, how big her brother is now, but she was five pounds heavier than what her brother uh, around this age. So. Um, so, uh, they are usually, the, the growing ones, like the, you know, um, they're weighed probably monthly, um, whenever we need to do, uh, any of the medications, whether it's a, um, whenever we, we need to do a, a warming, um, medication, um, we will weigh all the dogs whenever we need to do a, um, there's a, a couple of medications where it, it should be exact, and there's a couple that are just kind of, you know, there's a, a range that you can go from. So um, so any sort of medication time, um, the heartworm and worming and um, the flea and tick, we'll, we'll, do, we'll try to do weight. So... Um, how is Maya doing? How is Maya doing? Is she doing better? Spurts. I can't explain it. Like yeah. this morning, she peed 8:15, 8:25, 9 o'clock. Yeah. Then she stopped for a while. So I don't. It's, she's better, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. She's better, but we're still keeping an eye on her. So. Um. And now Logan's curled up on the couch. Oh. With sizzle, but he's, he's not completely off. relaxed. But so, um, yeah. But Logan, Logan did well, I would say, down to the barn. So I'm gonna try to do, try to do that every day. Have him down, um, down in the barn with me, um, and get him playing and and get some of his nervous energy out. And he'll be uh, he'll be much happier. He's a good boy, huh? He's looking at me. <laughs> um, let's see. I was just scrolling back, and um, the reason why we moved the snails, and it's not really, it wasn't really a, um, it wasn't to move them. It was to move um, the other dogs. Um, the problem is that the um, the the side of where we move them, they're on the, what we call the Donkey Hill side now. Um, those kennels are out out back of those kennels are smaller, um, and so the big dogs um, have a hard time like going out and turning around. Um, so if they go to the bathroom outside, they they step in it or they or they just don't want to do it. They 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 go out and they can't turn back around and because there's poop in the way and um, so sometimes they'll just come in to the inside where it's bigger and poop <laughs> and they, they so that way they can just they it's easier for them to get away from it. Um, so they a lot of the the dogs will poop inside on that on those kennels. So we figured, hey, the smaller dogs. Um, you know, we'll have an easier time doing that. And then that, that was the theory. Um, didn't happen, but actually it did. Um, I don't know, they're, they're just still too young to really expect too much out of <laughs> as far as um, where to pee and poop. So um, 
you know, actually, Podrick was the only one that didn't pee or poo out, out of those three. Um, so I, I was, I let the other two out to roam while I was cleaning those two kennels. And he was mad that I let them out and not him. So I was squatting down, picking up um, Ned's poop inside of his kennel. And I looked, and uh, there was Podrick peeing because he was so mad at me. So he was looking at me and peeing. So, yeah, these dogs are quirky. They, they have, they get, they get mad and do stuff like that. <laughs> so <clears throat> he was a brat. So, um, but that's why we... That's why we moved them. So, uh, animal control was in the barn. They didn't. Uh, it was a routine inspection, um, and they didn't say anything. They didn't real. They didn't ask any questions of me, anyways. So, um, you know, I showed him around a little bit, and that was good. He, uh, you know, he's asking about the donkeys. Um, but yeah, he didn't say anything to me. So maybe. Uh, Maybe ask Carlene later on, see if there was uh, any, anything. But, I mean, we're... the others barking but not not as much you as you would think um and you know there's not a lot of, i mean we haven't been doing um as much hosing down and as much um you know laundry as we would like but um it still doesn't smell very bad at all so there's no complaints they you know they i don't know what they're looking for but i mean every dog has water everybody every dog has you know, it's it's a heated barn. It's an air-conditioned barn. There's no complaints. You know, there's plenty of that room, for the, and it's there's you know the poo's picked up all the time. So uh, I think that's pretty much what they look for, and that's that's what I'm here for. That's that's what I do. <laughs> I, you know, I, they they have water. They had they have clean kennels. So. Where the authors split up in fours. Um, I think they were this morning. I don't know if they are now. Um, I don't know. I don't know where Donna just went to ask her. I didn't go out there today. And that's not Donna. questions today before I uh, oh there's one uh, the guinea chicks are still outside in the new coop they are yes yep it's good to have them out now they were uh, it was getting crazy before I'd, I'd walk in and I'd check on them in the morning and they'd be like there would be like three or four of them up on the uh, the cardboard like just trying to get out and I'm like oh, you can't do that guys so yeah so we you know, we'd count, do one count, and there'd be, you know, 17, and then, then you do another count, and there's 14, and then you do another count, and there's like...
uh, not they're together. But All eight. After they eat, four will four. go and not four will come in here. Okay. Yeah. So so they're um, taking turns staying outside. So. Um, so they're they're all together eight in nut house right now, and then after dinner four of them will come in. Um, so they're just taking turns. Let's see. Thanks, Lily May. Um, do the European bread Danes drool like the American Danes? Um, I don't know. Like some of them do, some of them don't. Um, not not so much. Like um, I know one that comes here quite often, a service dog. Um, she drools like you would not believe here. It's ridiculous that her person always has a drool rag and is always wiping up after her. Um, and she's like, it's crazy. She's like, but she doesn't drool at home at all. So it just she's excited when she's here. Um, so a lot of them do. Drool. Some of them is just you know after they have water. Some of them, um, it's not too too bad. Yeah, I have, I don't you know, I'm a dog person anyway, so it doesn't the drool doesn't bother me. I probably have drool all over me among other things, um, but um, other than that, uh, yeah, they don't they don't seem to drool excessively. So. All right, um, I will I will be here Friday, so I will talk at you then. Um, and until then, I will um, I'll wave at you tomorrow. And Lee, I'll see you tomorrow too. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>